everyone, it's Emily, and today I'm going to be showing you DIY flip-flops. And I hope you really like this, and I let's just get started. So, what you're going to need are a white pair of flip-flops. I got mine from Michael's for about $10, I think. And this one I've already done, and this is the results, and I really love this. It's so pretty. Um, so, you need a completely white one. Um... And Sharpies, you can use um, any type of permanent marker, but I like Sharpies the best. So, and you can use any color. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your first color, or your only color, whichever thing you use, because you can use one color, you can use ten, it all depends how you feel. So you're just going to take it and you're going to make circles. And I do about, I don't know, like, a f not quite a fingertip's length down. Only because you want to have enough space between the top and the bottom. I mean, not the bottom, the top and where you start. So that you can add half of another color. So I'll show you how to do this real quick and then I'll go into time lapse. So you're just going to make circles and you're gonna do rows of it just like this and the uh, more colors you use the better it will look well it would look cool both ways if you use just one color two colors or ten um, but the smaller dots the longer it will take you the bigger dots the shorter so I'm gonna go in time Okay, so I'm about a little bit more than halfway through my um, flip-flop, and as you can see, I did make kind of a big gap right here, but that's quite alright. I don't want to make these, like, perfect. I just want them to be nice and fun, and so, but now that you're getting closer towards this part of the flip-flop, what I have to, what I do is I take it and I pull it forward and then I just continue drawing circles and if you have a hard time doing this part um, you can leave like this section like completely blank and that would be really cute too but I like to do the whole thing so I'm just going to finish this and um, the next part is the hardest the next row I should say it's the hardest row because it's right right underneath the strap so the reason why I say it's the hardest is here I'll show you so I just did indigo this is violet so you have to take it and you have to stretch it really far and then you should do a pretty big dot so that you don't have to do another one like um, like with this one I had to do two dots because I didn't make it big enough for the first one and that one was really tricky so then I just continue um, I just go to the other side of it and I continue and you don't want them to be like like, you can definitely have really tiny circles, but I have a feeling it would take forever to do. And, um, sometimes you have to draw, like, the little half circle. That's, I think that's really pretty. Um, so, but if you really, really felt like it, you can even, like, go like that. And then it's on, like, like it's underneath the strap. Now this, then you have to pull it back and draw kind of like a half circle. And then you have another half circle right here on the end. So the next row is it's pretty simple. 
it's the same. Now I'm going back to red. And um, I want to make this one like a little bit closer than I normally would. So it's not like a big gap. And I'm just going to keep doing this. And once you get to here, it doesn't, it really, like, the first one took a long time because I kind of started with really, really tiny circles. And then I was like, I can't do that. That takes way too much time. And as you can see, I kind of got bigger and bigger. But I think it's still really cute. And like I said before, half circles or um, a little bit more than a half circle when it's around this area. I just think it's really cute. You could just, like I said, you can just leave this part blank. Like, in this area, you can leave it blank. And that would be really cute as well. Okay, so this is my very last row. And I'm going to be doing mainly half circles and quarter circles and three quarter circles. All those fractions. Um, so, and um, you can make these ones really big. Like, you can start really, sm another good idea would be start in really, really tiny. And gradually having the circles be really big and have the last row be like like quarter size circles, nickel size circles. That would be really pretty as well. But I like to kind of just I don't really size them. I just kind of draw a circle. <laughs> and that is my last one. Um so what I'm going to do is see how there's like a little row that's like it's just blank at the tip. I'm just going to take this and draw little circles up here so it's not completely blank. And there you go. So this is the matching pair. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up for more shoe DIY videos. And I'm definitely going to be doing more... Um, rainbowy themed DIYs since summer is near and it's definitely getting warmer out. So, but I'm definitely going to be doing a bunch more DIYs for the summer and I hope you guys liked it and, I, and I'll see you next time. Bye!